so much of this. Yes. So if you're in those Facebook homestead groups and milking groups and all this stuff, the reason most of the advice comes from people who have not been doing it very long is because those of us who have been doing it for a long time and have experience, it's just not worth our time to argue with people, to to be argued with by people who have just one or two seasons worth of experience on one or two cows. Um, now, do I still have things to learn? Absolutely. But at the same time, there's just, there's different levels of experience. And so um, that's honestly part of why I started my homestead mentorship group. So check the ask questions, get answered um, at the top of my page if you want to look into that. But um, I love helping people, but also I, I'm not going to sit here and argue with someone. Like if he wants to milk his cows that way, that's great. My guess is he's a commercial dairy farmer and um, the end goal is different. Like if you're doing pasteurized milk versus raw milk, you're, it's okay if your process is different because your end goal is different. But yeah, for the love of God, strip your cows so that you can check for mastitis. If you are a homesteader, if you are selling raw milk, that is a very vital step.